Now let's understand a reverse cash and carry arbitrage. So a related concept, only thing is here, we'll take the forwards and futures are underpriced. So we'll use the same example of the ZCB. Only thing is that oh, the price which is quoted for the forwards or futures is different. Now that price is quoted as 502. Now we see that 502 is lower than 507.55. So again, since these two levels are not matching, there is an arbitrage opportunity. And we are following the buy low and sell high principle. So here we will have to go long or we have to purchase uh, the derivative. Uh, and we will see you what actions we do today in order to lock in the profit. So actions to be done today. So first you take a long position in the forwards or futures contract. That is, it's an obligation to buy or obligation to purchase the zero coupon bond in three months time. At the same time, we, can, we short sell the zero coupon bond today uh, at 500 and we'll invest the proceeds in the bank account, which will earn a rate of 6%. And we'll do this investment for a period of three months. So these are the two activities which we do today. Then at maturity time point, at a, at a three month time point, the bank investment is going to rise. So it will rise to 500 into 1.06 with the exponent. So this takes us to 507.55, which is our investment in the bank account. Now, there is a long position which has to be satisfied. That is, I have an obligation to buy the zero coupon bond because of the long position which I hold in the forward contract. So I'll be paying 502 because this was the quoted price for the contract. So I pay 502, I purchase the zero coupon bond. Now this zero coupon bond has to be used in order to square off my short position. So my short position was if you focus on activity two, which was done under today. So we are short selling the ZCB. So that implies that we have borrowed the zero coupon bond from, uh, from my broker and I have to return it back to the rightful owner. So the ZCB, which is purchased as a part of the forward contract will be used to square off the short position. The profit which I earn on this transaction is the money in my bank account, which is 507.55 minus the quoted price of 502 at which the uh, forward or futures transaction happens. And the difference is $5.55, which is the arbitrage profit, which I lock in. And this is the mechanics for a reverse cash and carry arbitrage.